Hey guys, welcome back to ChiChiPros.com. Today is Saturday, May 20th. I apologize, I've been kind of quiet in our chat and everything. I got deployed for work for an 8-10 to 10 day trip out of state, so I was kind of doing stuff on the laptop from the hotel as needed, but um, last couple days I've been home back in action and I wanted to do a video on some prize picks and player props on the NBA cheat sheet. I typically do a lot of same game parlays and kind of flood those all over social media, the chat, the Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter if you don't have Facebook. I typically post quite a few there. Um, but I want to focus on prize picks because more people have access to those. So I want to kind of show you what I do if I'm playing on prize picks or if I'm building same game parlays, some of the things that I look at. So I've opened up the NBA cheat sheet for today. So this is my absolute number one favorite tab right here and I need to make sure that you can see this area on the right so let me slide this over ah, I'll just pull it back and forth it's fine um, so looking here you see all the game logs and everything if you've been in our free group and tried the cheat sheet you're kind of familiar with what this is so the first thing I do is I come over to this tab which is our prop tool and it has all the player game logs that shows who they played home away score the dates but you can see everything here. And then our price pick lines, we slide over here. And what's good about this is you can kind of see what the line is when we run the sheet. Now keep in mind that price picks releases these and changes these throughout the day. And they are pretty sharp and pretty quick to change. So I recommend looking at it in the morning. And if you find something that you really love, bet it because it'll jump a half or even a full point. <clears throat> you can also see the hit rates over here. Um, so like Jokic points is 6 of 7, so 86% hit rate. So this is one of the first places that I start and I go through. So we're going to flip down and we're just going to talk about some players because this game doesn't start till I believe 6.40 or 7.40 tonight. So you've got plenty of time to kind of watch this video and walk through it. And we're just going to discuss some players and I'm going to give you a, fl a few plays that I think would be key for tonight. So first let's focus on LeBron. So we're going to look at LeBron over here. Um, you can see his hit rates are not real good. 43, 71, 57, 29%. So his PRA number, for example, 42 and a half. And we can see over recent games, he's got 41, 47, 48, 37, 42, 37, 33. Now, keep in mind, they are down in this series. They are returning home. I believe it's in uh, LA. Um, so he should do really well. But what I'm looking at here is his variance above and below that number, that's a good line, 42.5. Price Picks did a good job on it, so I'm gonna stay away from it unless you really think like, hey, he's gonna be at home, he's gonna come out, he's gonna kill it. Then you could look at this and say, you know, these two, he was barely under, then he was over a couple, so he's pretty close to that line. But when you come over here and you look at Jokic, let's look at his points that's hitting it at an 86% clip and slide this over here so you can see it. So his number's 28 and a half. Well, he was under that with 23, but 34, 32, 29, those are fairly close to the line. But look, 53. So he's got the ceiling and he's done it in the last seven games to go way over that number. So that's what I look for. Someone who's got enough cushion to where their range of outcomes is gonna give them plenty to go over. Now, if you're over here and you look at LeBron and you say, Okay, you know, what's his range of outcomes if we're looking at the last seven games? So he has a high of 47, 48, so barely five over and then sliding just over. It's not a terrible play, but it's not one that jumps out at me. Now, if you do want to play LeBron, I like taking his fantasy score over 51. The reason is on price picks, blocks and steals, I believe they're three points each. And look at his blocks and steals here. These are key for same game parlays. I have so much fun doing them. Uh, but two blocks, four steals, that's six. Six times three is 18. That's 18 points just right there if I'm calculating that correctly. This game, he only had one, but then three, three, and six. So blocks and steals are key. And especially like Anthony Davis, look at his blocks and steals. Now he's got a little higher line. But those blocks and steals are key. So if they're not hitting their points, rebounds, and assists, and you see a lot of blocks and steals recently, then go after their fantasy score on price picks. That's going to be one of the better plays. So if you wanted to go LeBron over 51 fantasy score for price picks, I think that would be pretty fair. 
Um, I don't mind it. On same game parlays, you can't do fantasy score. So for price picks, I would definitely do that over taking his points or points, rebounds, assist. His points is 25 and a half. And you can see he kind of teeters plus or minus four of that number. So that's a fair line by price picks. And he's only hit that 43% of the time. Theoretically, he should get it tonight, returning home, uh, being down two games in the series, but you know, who knows? And then flipping down here, this is just kind of how I evaluate the different players. Jokic is an absolute stud. No matter what you take on him, it's going to be pretty solid. We're going to come back to him. He's got 86%, 86%, 86%. So he's hitting a lot. So his PRA of 52 and a half, look at his range. So his low is 52. So basically missing by half a point, but look at his highs, 69, 68, 64, 60. So he has the ability to get way over that. Now he is on the road, so you could even go back and look at his road game. So here on the road, he had 54. Here he had 68 on the road. Here he had 64 on the road. So I'm not worried about Jokic being on the road. So Jokic PRA 52 and a half is one I definitely think we could consider. And Poor Sammy, the blocks here, look at this. Jokic has had at least one block in every game. And Sammy, a guy in our chat, had a, I think it was $10 to win, 28 or 2900 And he hit every leg of that same game parlay, except for he had Jokic one block, or over a half a block, and he ended with zero. That I kind of lost some sleep for him on that overnight. Uh, fantasy score is not as bad. I prefer to stick up here because he's hitting these at a high clip. And his, you know, one or two blocks isn't going to change it. Now, if you get a game like this where he has three steals or three steals and a block, yeah, his fantasy score, you can see here, is going to go way up over the chart. But in one, Jokic, LeBron, they're both studs, good plays. If you're doing same game parlays, they're good to just kind of mix. Um, let me see. So LeBron, over 51 fantasy score. That's one that I wanted to take a look at. Uh, flipping down here, Anthony Davis. I pretty much save him and I do two plus blocks in same game parlays just he does it almost every game three four zero zero two two four so returning home he should be able to get that again um but then let's flip over here at jamal murray i mean i gotta remember slide this over so you guys can see it so we're looking at jamal murray um 25 and a half points that's pretty fair i prefer taking it in a same game parlay because i can mix that number and take a little bit of an alt line but if you only have access to price picks, I don't mind 25 and a half. He's hit that at a 71% clip. 37, 31, 26, 19, 28, and 32. So out of these last, what's that, six games, he's hit at five of six. And he's been over 25 and three straight. And he's getting better. 26, 31, 37. So he probably should shoot quite a bit on the road. Um that's one that I do look at. Rebounds, I want to stay away from. It's five and a half. You can see he's only hit that two of the last seven games. He did have 10, but five, four, five, five, six, four. So that's a good line. He's pretty much, his range of outcomes is usually four to six. Price Picks has it at five and a half. That's a fair line. And especially with Jokic and Porter and LeBron and Davis, it's hard for Murray to get a lot of rebounds. He has to get a little bit lucky. So Looking at his hit rates, his points props, probably the highest clip right now. His PRA is in at 57%, but again, I'm going to stay away from those. Looking at assist, five, pretty much, you know, five, five, four, six, seven, five, eight. So four to six, five and a half. Price picks has a good line there. So Jamal Murray points 25 and a half. That's kind of what I'm going to focus on. He's been over it in five of six games. Um, he is on the road. They're playing well. He took an absolute ton of shots last time out. And then also look at his steals. If you're playing a same game parlay, four, three, four. So I had Jamal Murray two plus steals at plus money last time out and he ended with four. So I always look at these because they're great to throw into a same game parlay, especially if they offer something like Jamal Murray one plus steal. Well, he's done that in six straight games. That's an easy one to kind of throw in there. And if you go after his fantasy score, these players, like we said above, blocks and steals are key. Also, look at these three-point shots made. Four, four, six. Um, there's not a three-point made prop for him yet, but he's been uh, shooting a ton of them. Um, so let's flip back over here. The next guy I want to go down and take a look at is Austin Reeves. He's the one. Let me make sure you can see this. Um, so now we're going to look at Austin Reeves over here. So this is one guy 
Um, he got me a good little chunk of change. I think it was four plus 400 plus 500, somewhere in that range um, on these points props. Now, typically what I do, and I save this screenshot here so I could kind of show you. Um, let's kick out these last two games. So we're going to focus on these last five right here. So if you're on price picks, it's 16 and a half. You can see it's a 57% hit rate. So he's over, 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 barely under, over. So he's been over it in four of five, just missing by one. So I like Austin Reeves over 16 and a half points at home. And look at his three points made. I was looking for a three point line, five, five, four, three, three. So Price Picks will probably release this at two and a half, and he's been over it in five straight games. So that's one that I am watching for today. But when I play same game parlays, so on Price Picks, you get 16 and a half, and you just take over, or under. That's the only option that you have. But see, when you do same game parlays, you have these options. I can do 10, I can do 12, I can do 15, I can do 18, I can do 20. And so this last game, I had an 18 at plus money. And when you get this plus money right here, it really drives the odds up. So you get much better odds than you do on price picks. And I even had a little one with uh, just the game total and then him for 20 points. He got 22 so you can see that's plus 205, but I typically kind of run in this range right here. So if you mix three or four of these minus, you know, 400 to 500 games, you can get a plus money bet in there. So you could look at it and say, okay, I'm going to go safe. I want Austin Reeves to score 12 plus points. So that's the same as over 11 and a half, which you can see he's almost doubling that every game. Or you could say, hey, I'm going to jump up here and I want this plus 125 because if you start adding plus money lines together it just gets astronomical quick so you could say hey i'm gonna go 18 you know he's hit 20 in three games this 20 is a little more risky for me plus plus 125 to 205 it's a good chunk but i think you're safer doing this 18 so i'll probably mix these two right here but that's the difference when i say you know i bet same game parlays as you might see me post one where i've got austin reeves 12 points well if he ends with 15 or 16 price picks you lose but then over here, you win. So that's just something to keep in mind when you see some of my plays. Um, but again, I like his three-point line, 5-5-4-3, five, five, um, 17 in the last four games. Sorry, my dog's barking. He's a dum-dum. Uh, flipping down here, another guy that I want to take a look at is Michael Porter. And so looking at Michael Porter, rebounds are what jumped at me. So he's got a 71% clip here. His line is 6 and a half. And you can see 12, 10, 8, 5, 7, or 10, 7. So typically he's been averaging about 7.5 over these last four games. And look how many times he goes over that number. So I like Michael Porter rebounds. Um, it's something I'll put in the same game parlay, but if you're on price picks, 6.5 is not a bad line. Um, if you take these superstars, price picks is really good on the line. They usually give you something that's pretty much a coin flip or a 55, 45 line, but the way their odds are paid out, I mean, you're paying for that benefit of line. So that's why I like looking at some of these lower end players. So another one I want to look at here, let me stay over here is Bruce Brown. So when we're taking a look at Bruce Brown, um, his points line is 12 even. He's got 57%. And just watching him last game, I was kind of impressed with that. Now, his minutes are going to vary. Here we have 24. Here we have 37, 30, 26, 20. So it's kind of up and down. You can see here, Roto has it projected at 26 minutes, but Fantasy Alarm has him at 35. So there is some variance and some risk in this play. But over the last four games, he's got 12, 16, 13, and 25 points. So he's shooting a lot more. And you can see he's made a three-pointer or more in four straight games. So that's one that I would consider if you're wanting to do like a six-legger or throw something in that's a little lower that you might hit. He could hit a couple threes in the first half and be on his way to this game. <clears throat> um, the one that did jump out at me is points and rebounds, 16 and a half. The reason is there's no rebound line on him this morning, but five, four, five, five. So four to five rebounds, that's a pretty good chunk. And then you add that onto these points. So when we're looking at points and rebounds of 16 and a half, here we have 17, that went over, 20, that went over, 18, that went over, 30, that went over. So he's been over that in four straight games. So that points rebounds is kind of sneaky. That's one that I would consider. And then let's look at one more player here, and then we're going to look at another tab and then wrap this baby up. So 
I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this correctly, but Hakamura, um, he's really been coming on as of late. And when you look at his minutes down here, he has as low as 13 minutes and then as high as 30. So you can kind of see he's low 20, 16, 28, 30. So these last two games, he's played a lot of minutes. Now, what worries me is typically when you see a player like this that averages 13 to 18 minutes, all of a sudden play 230 minutes, that next game, he's probably not going to get that many minutes. But this is a almost a do or die, nail in the coffin if they lose this game. And he's been doing really well. In these last two games, he has 21 and 17 points. Rebounds, he's not really doing anything. And we're going to take a look at this on the price picks tab. But his rebound prop is four. He's got two, zero, three, two, three, one. So I would go under four. Um, if you can get four and a half on a same game, that looks pretty solid. Just with everybody else on the floor, it's going to be hard for him to get those rebounds. And he's been shooting a lot more, but 21 and 17 in the last two games, 13 and a half. That's a pretty fair line to go after. But again, on a same game, you can get him like eight plus points, 10 plus points. I like that a little bit better. But as you can see, can see there is some risk here he has a low of two and a high of 21 and his minutes a low of 13 and a high of 30 so it is a risky play but it is someone who's been coming on and getting hot as of late and you can also see he has a block or a steal in each of the last four games so if you want to go after his fantasy score that's not a bad play either um, he's a lower tier player some of the ones I wanted to stick with were Austin Reeves over 16 and a half I like that one Bruce Brown 16 and a half points and rebounds LeBron, 51 fantasy score. I think returning home down 0-2, that's someone you got to have some action on. And Jamal Murray, 25 and a half points. That's someone that I would probably take a look at. These would be my four favorite plays for the NBA slate if I'm playing on price picks. And you're welcome to add in anything, change anything. It's your money. If you guys don't like it, don't play it. Um, stuff changes rapidly. But this is the first tab that I come to whenever I'm building same game parlays or looking at uh, price picks. Now, the next one is this price picks tab. Let me see if you can see that. All right, I think you can. Um, so when we come over here and we look at this, you can see we have points, PRA, rebounds, assist, fantasy score. So we have all the props over here in this column. And then we have our player, all the good stuff. We have what the line is. The DVP stuff doesn't really matter anymore because there's we're in the playoffs. We're down to two teams, so nothing else is changing but we have the three main sites, their projections. So some people like them. Fantasy Alarm got real hot um, over the summer, or I guess over the spring. But we got Fantasy Alarm, Fantasy Pros, Roto Projections. And what I like here is looking at this last five average and seeing the difference. This is kind of a tiebreaker for me, and we're going to look at a couple plays with that. Uh, let me see how far over I can slide this so you can see some of these game logs. So over here we have game logs, and you can see we go out to the last 10 and these are all playoff games. So I got rid of the last few games of the regular season. And then we have our last five, last 10 hit rates. So when you open up the sheet, all these are usually in line. Now, the first thing that I do is I come over here to last 10 hit rate and I sort it high to low. I want to see what's hot, you know, out of the last 10 games. So here we can see we've got four that are 80% and above. And of course, it's Jokic and D'Angelo Russell, which we did not go over. So D'Angelo Russell fantasy score is 23 and a half. You can see all three sites project him at 31, 30, and 29. So they're projecting him to go well over. He's been averaging about three points under over the last five, but you can see it was just this one game here. Other than that, he's had 29, 23, 27, 30, 26. So he's had a pretty good rate here. So that may be one that you consider. Jokic is probably the hottest player on the planet right now, almost everything he does. Now, what I was saying by using this last five average for a difference maker, so let's say you're gonna play Jokic. So you look at this and you're like, all right, 80%, 90%, one is fantasy score, one is points, rebounds, assist, you have your lines. I'm gonna go right to this column right here and I'm gonna say, okay, over the last five, what is he averaging a difference of? And we're gonna look at these two numbers. So his fantasy score, he's averaging 73 points, so he's averaging about 10 points more than what the line is. But his points, rebounds, assist of 52 and a half, he's averaging 6.9 points difference. So I'm just going to take the one where he's averaging more so he has more of a cushion to get over that number. Um, and we can also flip this and say, okay, let's see what low hit rates we have, sort of low to high. 
And of course, the one we looked at was Hakamura, Hakamura, Hakamura however you say that, rebounds four. Um, in the last five games, he has a 0% hit rate, and he's only hit it once in the last 10, and that was by one. So he's got two, zero, three, two, three, one. I guess you can't see all those. Uh, but that's what his last 10 looks like. So he's got six games in a row of three or less. So I kind of like going under there, especially after he's played 28 and 30 minutes in the last two and still did not get there combined for two. So we may throw a Hakamura in here. Let's see if we can do that. Rebounds. We got four. Let's put him in there. Less. All right, so that gives us under four. So that gives us five legs that we can run with. Um also, we have LeBron, points, rebounds, assists. We talk about that. He kind of hovers around the number. That's one I'm going to stay away from. And his last five average, a difference of 0.5. That means it's a really good price picks line. Um, and then you can also do the same thing with the last five games and say, okay, well, who's hot? Well, these plays here are 5-0 and overruns over the last five. And that is going to give us Reeves, Jokic. Ah, Reeves and Jokic. Reeves we talked about. So again, we're going to look here at the differences. And we can see this bottom one here. Oh, that's Jokic. I was looking for Reeves, sorry. So Reeves, 5.1, 5.75. So 5.7 is probably the one I want to look at. And then we got points, rebounds, assists, 24 and a half. And he's got 30, 33, 34, 27, 27. But when we looked at the game logs, this was mainly his points. So I like his points prop. This is one that I would come over here and say, I'm probably just going to stick with this points prop. You know, he's been doing really well with that. But either one, you know, whatever you think is good. But that's kind of how I use the sheet. I also take this difference and I want to say, okay, who's averaging the most over the top? Sort this baby high to low. And of course, Jokic Fantasy scores the top one. 100% hit rate last five, 90% hit rate last 10. Jamal Murray, fantasy score, he's averaging 8 over, 80%, 70%. And then we can flip it over and say, okay, who's averaging unders the best? Um, Hakamura comes in a lot. D'Angelo Russell hits a couple. Um, you can also come through here and look at the different sites. And so over here, we have Fantasy Alarm. Um, you see which ones they're projecting the most. So Fantasy Alarm actually has Aaron Gordon skyrocketing over all of his lines. Um, Anthony Davis is doing pretty good. But anyways, that's kind of how I break down this. And so these are the plays that we have on tap right now. We have Austin Reeves over 16 and a half. Bruce Brown over 16 and a half points and rebounds. LeBron 51 fantasy score. Jamal Murray um, 25 and a half points and Hakamura under four rebounds. So anyways, good luck guys. Hope this helps.